Hey everybody, welcome to the channel. So, it's been a while since we've done a beginner tutorial on bears. People are always asking for something new, something fresh. So we are going to do a beginner bear tutorial for this bear right here. Alright, so all the carving that's done on this bear is with a chainsaw. I didn't use a bunch of power tools for detail work or anything like that. I used an MS-170. Now, my 1S-170 is modified, but you could still do something very similar with this same saw. Your saw probably comes with a 3 8 pitch chain, 43 gauge, and a 16 inch bar. I have swapped out my sprocket for a quarter pitch sprocket, quarter pitch chain, and a 12 inch bar that runs quarter pitch. Now, if you're new, you're like, that doesn't make any sense. I don't understand. But if you were to look it up, all those numbers I just said would add up. So, if you want the same setup that I have, you have to order a quarter pitch sprocket, buy yourself a 12 inch bar. 12 inch bar that says quarter pitch, 43 gauge, and then you buy a chain to match. Okay, it's just a much smaller chain. But your stock bar and chain will be able to achieve something very very similar now today we're starting with a log that's right around 22 inches tall and when you look at it you're probably about nine inches across it's not a full 10 so eight to nine inches across okay now I made sure these two logs were about the same size because I wanted you guys to be able to see what it is we can do with just a chainsaw not even a dime tip bar or anything like that for those of you wanting to learn wanting to try out now the first thing the very first thing you need to do if you're going to do this is get yourself some chaps you should have safety toed shoes you should be wearing jeans or pants not shorts like me kind of crazy but definitely definitely a pair of chaps okay you're gonna need some sort of eye protection you should definitely get some sort of hearing protection gloves and I like to wear a dust mask and the other thing is making sure your area is way cleaner than this. Give yourself some space to room to move and have room to work around the piece you're going to work on. I've been working in these tight quarters for many years, so I'm pretty used to what I'm doing. If you're new, again, have a big open space to kind of work so nothing is around you. Now, the next thing that I think is a very important purchase and something very useful if you do a lot of things out in the garage or the shop is a jaw horse. This is probably the safest way to hold your carving, especially for beginners. Now, I understand it's a lot of money to start and try this for the first time, right? It is, but this is probably one of the safer setups in order to do that. If you're not going to get a jaw horse, what you can do is get a big log that's like 24 inches around or bigger and cut it so it's tall enough for your height so you can put a log on top. What you do is you screw a board to the bottom of your carving some good strong screws and that board sticks out and then you screw it down to the log that's going to be your platform all right that's another way to hold it down now if you're going to use a jaw horse it's a good idea to put these safety pieces on all right they're just made out of wood i'll have a video popping up walk you through how to do that as well i'll also have a video popping up on how to uh modify this saw just after it so keep an eye out for those if you uh, need that information now uh, we'll do a voiceover and we will walk through creating a bear very similar to that one so give me a thumbs up hit subscribe hit that bell hit all so you guys don't miss any future uploads and after you watch this video and you try it leave me a comment let me know what you guys think with that let's start making some sodas Alright guys, hopefully your saws are sharp, gassed up, safety gears on, you're ready to go. Our first cut's going to be about 2 inches in from the back of the log and we're angling the bar down and back. This will be the back of the head, back of the ears, back of the bear. You can finish that cut down to about the top of your jaw horse area. Now we're going to clip off this corner, that'll be the back of the ears jump to the other side do the same clipping off that corner now we're going to make a straight cut across that's going to be about the height of the bar not the height half the height of the bar if you're running a small bar 
half to three quarters. That's the face of the ears. Now we're coming in and we're making an angle cut down just a very little bit. We're going to drop this down. So this is about the depth of that cut we just made that was straight across. Try not to cut into your ears, so pay attention as you cut through here so you don't overcut. As we look at the top, this is where we're going to start to round for the sides of the head in front of the ears. So we take the nose of the bar and do a little bit of an angle down. Come in from the front of the bear. The saw is angled out still. We didn't quite hit our mark there, but that's okay. We'll come in from the side, go a little bit deeper, and remove that piece. We'll jump to the other side and do the same. Lopping off the corners for the ears real quick. And then we're going to come into the center of the ears next. Straight, angled in. So angle the saw in a little bit. Angle it in a little bit. Use the nose. Now these things do take practice, guys. Also have great control. Have a good grip on your saw. You can deal with kickback at any time because we are using a lot of the nose of the bar. And that's when kickback happens the most, all right? So just be conscious of that and be paying attention. Like right there, I was showing you that kicked back just a touch. All right, so remove the material below those ears. And now what we're going to do is make a cut in just below the ear. We're just missing the bottom side of that ear. And as we come down, we're kind of angling the saw away from the carving just a little bit. It's a very, very slow curvature. You try to do it too quick, you're going to pinch your bar. So if you can get in there and just make an angle cut, that'll work too. Sometimes if you can't get the twist, you see how I'm making multiple cuts, going in just a little, cutting a little at a time, and then we get that angle out. So now looking at the top of the head, it's super flat in front of those ears. We'll probably end up just removing a little bit of material. So make a cut in, come across to round that off just a little bit more. Now this could be done later on, but I just do it now. Same on the other side. Backs of our ears are pretty thick and chunky. Angle the saw back. Let's just remove some corners, clean them up, thin them out just a little bit. The back of the ear should always be shorter than the front. If the back of the ear is taller than the front of the ear, it's going to look weird um, when you're looking at it. It won't, it won't look proportionate. Lopping off the corners of the back, where it's going to be the back of the shoulder and obviously the bear's back. Thinking about our next cut, we're going to go about two fingers out from the ears, right? which is about an inch and a half probably. Angle this saw, as you can see on the left, we've got a good angle going. And go down mm, half, half an inch, three quarters, probably three quarters of an inch at an angle, and then a straight cut and remove that wedge. And then straight cut down past that, about a quarter of an inch or so. Then you're going to come in from the front, line yourself up, and hopefully remove this chunk. Try not to overcut into the front of the face area. All right, so chunk's removed. Got to do a little more cleanup because I still have some overcut lines. Removed. Now, the face of this, there's some overcut going on there. You can see on the bottom. We'll get to that, and we'll clean it up here at some point, though. There it is, pointing it out, rolling over the face there a little bit, rounding the front of that forehead and working my way down at an angle, just removing that overcut line so it looks way better. Now I want to remove the front area. We're going to go about three fingers deep, all right? We're going to cut down. Oh less than half of the log height right here okay a little less than half giving you guys a little reference there now we're going to come in for the snout now it's not a straight cut back we're angling away from the center of the bear we're going in and angling away from the center of the bear so there's two angles going on 
if you notice, right? We're angling down in a way, but our body is also angled to bring the front of the snout coming in to come in at a point. Now here we're making this cut. Don't overdo it, so go slow, pay attention. Have the bar speed up. You want your saw running, you know, full bore, but you don't want to be uh, rushing through it. Mess your neck up on your bear. <laughs> Hopefully you guys are enjoying this video. Hopefully it's helpful. Leave me comments, guys. Let me know what you think. Again, this is very beginner kind of tutorial. I'm um, just doing some very basic stuff. People really like these, so just want to be able to help you out with just, you know, another take on a sitting bear. Here is important. We're going to come in from the side and just clip the side of the cheek and try to remove this piece. You want to just go to your cut line. If you do it shallow, that's all right. You just come back through on each side till it meets up and do the same on this side just rounding the forehead rounding some overcuts no big deal your bear should be round not square and blocky right so you want them as round as you can without having a ton of tools because we're doing most of this work 95 percent with just this chainsaw so now we're angling down and back you see on the left that wasn't just like a straight cut it's angling back toward the neck again not a straight cut angling down to remove that we're just removing triangles and wedges now i moved the bear up so only about one inch of the base is in the vise now because now i've removed the majority of the material so it shouldn't grab catch and move on me you do have to be prepared because those things can happen here i'm just working around cleaning up removing bark and kind of thinning my bear out just a little getting rid of those hard edges and uh, trimming him to basically fit his base so the base will stick out past the bear all the way around that's the plan that means we got to remove more material and bark now if you strip the bark ahead of time even better uh, you don't have to worry about hitting gravel or dirt sand that kind of stuff with your saw dull in your chain So here, still working our way around, trying not to remove a lot of actual wood, but just the bark in the cadmium area. And uh, maybe maybe about a quarter inch of wood is what we're removing. About the thickness of the bar for the most part is all we're trying to remove for wood. Not a lot. All right, so that looks pretty good there. We're going to come in and gauge about where the neck is. And with this short bar, it gives me the perfect height for these smaller bears. So we plunge cut in, have a good grip on the saw, come straight through. All right, you can see that line coming through. Then we're going to come through with the saw kind of at an angle. So we're angling down into the bear. So the front's taller than the back of that cut, removing a wedge. Same on this side. I'm only cutting down the height of the bar. I'm trying not to go too much deeper than that. And then as I come in this way, we start high and we cut down in low so it removes that piece and creates an angle. I want to clean up the inside of the neck area below the jaw and the snout. Make some little cuts and then use the nose of the bar in kind of a scraping manner. You gotta have good control here. If you can't do this all in one take, that's all right. Take a break. You know, your forearms might be burning. Your arms might be on fire. Take a break. It is way better to do that than pull muscles, lose your grip on the saw, things like that. So don't worry about it. Take your time. Have fun with it. So here we're angled. We're not doing a straight cut, but this is the line for the lower part of the arm. All right. Now we're going to cut off the front and round it because that was pretty straight earlier using the nose coming in a few inches so this is the width of the arm right and we kind of round it down with the bar now again this is not a dime tip bar guys this is just a 12 inch roll nose quarter pitch bar running 43 gauge chain this is on a lot this is on a lot of like battery saws and stuff smaller saws will have this bar on it the 170 comes with a little bit bigger bar, but you could still achieve basically what we're doing with your basic bar on an MS-170, 180. 
So here we're plunge cutting and rounding over a little bit. That'll be the side of the bottom paw. So we'll see the front of it. Just rounding off this arm a touch. Remember, round edges, smooth edges is kind of what you want. It helps your bear look a little more realistic. We leave everything choppy and blocky. And, uh, you know, it, it just looks like a square blocky bear, which is fine for beginner stuff. And that's where you could be right now, and that's okay. Just trying to help you take it one step further if this is your first or second bear. Removing that front piece so it rounds the paw. So think the paw is like rounded over the front foot, right, on the bottom. So it's rounding over, grasping the toes. So we're going to just remove a little bit of material here, cutting into the side of the paw that's on the left it'll make sense here in a minute when i give you guys a front view you'll be able to see it All right so it kind of pops out now we're going to cut the side foot for the other the angle for the uh, other foot there on the right All right so now he's shaped out where his bottom feet will be scraping motion kind of remove those lines now I gotta work on that belly area and remove this material. So it's just kind of like shallow angled cuts to the arm. Try not to cut into your arm though, right? Your bear's arm or your arm. <laughs> Redefine that arm and then come in from the other side. Now if you do these at an angled cut, it'll kind of, uh, those angled cuts kind of help you give a little bit of a rounded belly to begin with. And you can use the nose to uh, kind of clean it up. Like right here, I'm using the nose to kind of round it down, which will define that front paw and leg. I know this might seem fast or seem like a lot going on, guys, but that is the joy of YouTube and having teaching videos. You guys can come back and watch this a thousand times before you even try. I do recommend watching this, you know, maybe a couple times before you even try your first bear. That way there, you have a general idea of what you're going to do um, what cuts you're going to make and how you're going to proceed as far as, you know, steps, this, 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 you know, one, two, three, four, this is how I'm going to make these cuts. Um, you know, it might be a little more difficult if you just jump in and you try to do these things without, you know, watching the video fully once or twice to kind of have it in your mind as to uh, how to go about it. Now, if you have any hard edges, before the snout, you saw it's just that scraping motion. You're kind of sanding. So we're not using a bunch of other power tools. So we're sort of rounding that face. And we also took that hard edge off on the snout just a second ago. So it takes that nose from being really, really blocky and starts to round it over like a real nose. Now, don't get me wrong. He's still going to be playful and not super, super realistic, right? So we're not getting into a ton of detail here, but it'll help achieve the look and uh, hopefully a look that I think you'll be happy with. Now this is too long. We left it long, but we're gonna remove about half to three quarters of an inch of that snout, pushing it back, and also it makes it wider for us. Now if you see on the left, the saw is at a pretty good angle. We're just putting a line in, using the side of the nose. Be careful to kick back. Boom, there's our nose cut in. Using the nose of the bar, the underside of the bar, we're scraping. In essence, we're kind of uh, sanding a little bit, right? Shaping up that lower jaw, lower lip sort of area so it's rounded, not so square. Now with the saw at a crazy angle on the left, coming up and just rolling it over like that. We're done. That's the mouth. It's in. Simple. It's basic. It's effective. Now looking at our paws, we're gonna to try to put the pads in. So you gotta be at a little bit of an angle, trying not to hit your jaw horse at the same time. You could always spin the carving in the jaw horse so it's away from that bigger platformed area if you want. Now this isn't a straight cut, right? It rounds up and over. Same thing with the second line, up and over, round it up and over. And then you come in, and make four lines which will reveal five uh five claws or five pads for you for the bear's foot now if you had power tools and uh 
you know, and different bits and things. You can get in here and clean it up. This is just like the very basic base outline for doing this bear. So anybody who has, you know, stepped their game up past this point, obviously, guys, use your burrs, clean those things up, add more detail. Now the ear, we're using just the underside of the nose and we're kind of scraping inside the ear just a little bit just to kind of make it concaved. With a sharp saw and a good grip, you guys can do a lot of different shaping, all right? Yeah, got to have full control though because if you're doing that and you're just willy-nilly, you're probably going to make a big cut into the ear or cut the ear off. That same process, we're doing real close to the snout right here on the front of the face making a concave or an indent where the eyes are going to be. Allowing the under nose of the bar where it just starts to round to be the, the thing that's creating the shape, right? Like, hopefully that kind of makes sense. Coming in with the edge of the nose at an angle and just kind of defining an eyebrow area so he has a little more character. Hopefully you guys are doing well with this. Really do appreciate you guys watching. You know, I appreciate new viewers and people doing new things. Be sure to give me a like, guys. Hit subscribe, hit that bell, hit all. And, uh, and keep. hopefully you, uh, you're enjoying this video. Now we're moving into furring. I see a lot of beginners just use the nose and make these straight cuts. But if you look at my saw, it's at an angle. I'm using the side of the teeth, not a full front of the tooth that grabbed two teeth grab but one side at a time and what this does <laughs> is big drawn breath sorry what this does is help you have more of a layered effect rather than these straight edges now this is where you're going to get a lot of forearm burn your forearms are going to be on fire your shoulders and all that so you know if you don't can't do it all in one take that is okay take a break you got to build these muscles up it seems silly. You can be in shape, but if you don't do this stuff often, you are working muscles you don't use a whole lot. So, also, don't forget to put your initials in your piece. It's yours. Put your initials in there. All right, so we're just putting in a very quick, basic fur pattern. Nothing crazy. Some of my other videos, we pay more attention as to what way the fur is actually laying and how we're putting these lines in. But as far as this, you know, pretty basic video, we're just trying to get something on there that looks like fur and uh, just kind of have that basic pattern, I guess. You do this all the way around the bear, you know, hit every spot. Bears are covered in fur, so you got to hit every spot and give them that look. Once you're done, you can take your torch and burn it you know have a safe spot you know do it away from your sawdust have some water ready in case you know things get out of hand give them a good burn and then brush them down with a stiff bristle brush now some people argue with this they hate it because of the soot that's left all over smudged but that's why you take some compressed air and blow them off really really well and that'll remove any loose debris and the soot that's been smudged after that, we take some black spray paint, spray him down, but be careful around the snout. Don't do the snout yet. Skip that. If you don't want to do paint, obviously do a second burn and darken your bear up. If you guys just missed it, though, we just hit the lower jaw and the top of the snout, leaving a little bit of burnt brown. It'll give your bear a little more character. Now, I know people are going to ask me the color. I don't stinking know, okay? A light tan, light brown kind of color so it pops. Just a small brush, putting a circle in there, even if it's off a little. It doesn't have to be a perfect circle. But the cool thing is, is you didn't have to have a special tool to give him actual eyes, right? We just kind of did a basic concave shape. Come in here with a little bit of brown or tan or whatever you want to use. Green, blue, purple. Do that first color and then do uh, the black. Hey guys, there you go. Hopefully you were able to get a bear, something like this guy. Hopefully you're able to stay safe and not hurt yourself. Hopefully this video will help you guys out though, carving up that first bear. 
Let me know what you guys think. Let me know how you guys made out. If you guys want to share your work with me, you can on Facebook at Kyle Hall Woodworker New Carvers. You go there, answer all the questions. Got to answer everything, then I'll let you in the group. That way there we keep all the spam out, okay? We have quite a few. We've got a couple hundred plus members or people that have joined the uh, Facebook group right now, sharing their work, sharing the things they've created from the videos that I have. Remember, I have several videos on beginner playlist right here on YouTube, right? A lot of beginner playlist tutorial videos. Um, we also have an intermediate playlist going with a few videos on there as well. Now, a lot, a lot of videos that go into a lot of detail using other tools as well. So check out those playlists. All right, guys. If you guys haven't already, be sure to give me a thumbs up, hit subscribe, hit that bell, hit all. Make sure those YouTube notifications are on so you guys don't miss any future uploads. we got a lot of things coming down the line in the future, and uh, you don't want to miss out. So I appreciate you guys watching, and uh, check out some videos popping up. I'll see you next time.